Last year, it was Cyclone Fonny that devastated the coast of Odisha. And this year, we're talking about Cyclone Ampan. And it's not just any other cyclone. This is a super cyclone that's ravaged Bengal as well as Odisha, left behind a trail of destruction and damage. And it begs the question, why do we see some of the deadliest cyclones in the world being reported in the Bay of Bengal? Well, we break that down for you over the next minute and a half. And what's important to note here when we explain why we see so many storms and so many cyclones in the Bay of Bengal is to understand how these cyclones itself are formed. And bear with me because it does get a little complicated. The first point that we need to understand is that tropical cyclones are formed near warmer ocean surfaces. That means oceans that are close to the equator. The Bay of Bengal is one such. Now, how exactly are these cyclones formed? This gets a little complicated, so I'll try to break it down for you as much as I can. So essentially, as I told you, these areas like the Bay of Bengal, the water is warm. So when that rises above the ocean, it becomes cool. Now, keep in mind that cool air can't hold moisture. So what happens is it squeezes out the condensed air and then you have a cloud. So the warm water then rises up. It rises very quickly. So then you have a low pressure that's formed. Now around this low pressure, all the air, there's high pressure which pushes further up. Again, you have the same cycle of cool air, unable to hold the moisture, then you have it rising up and more clouds are formed. And that's how you have an entire storm, an entire system that's created. Now add to this the fact that there's a lot of wind because of the high pressure and the low pressure, the winds also become a lot higher and that's how a cyclone itself is created. In this itself, there is a storm and then there's a cyclone. And then there is, of course, a super cyclone in which you see record wind speeds, gusty winds that causes widespread damage. So when the wind speeds reach 63 kilometers per hour, that's when it's referred to as a tropical storm. When it reaches way above that, 119 kilometers per hour and above, that's when it's referred to as a tropical cyclone. Ampan, Foni, all of those are tropical cyclones. The wind speeds are very, very high, which is why it creates so much of damage and destruction of property. So let's break down now for you why the Bay of Bengal is a hotbed. It's the biggest bay in the world, the largest in the world. Of course, you've got India and Sri Lanka on the west, Bangladesh and Myanmar on the east. But we've seen deadliest cyclones being formed over the Bay of Bengal and that is because the Bay of Bengal has some of the warmest ocean waters, which is what leads to the formation of these devastating and these destructive storms through the year. Every year we report on one or the other such storm ravaging India, Bangladesh, Myanmar and of course even Sri Lanka. And that's because of not just where Bay of Bengal is placed but because of the kind of temperatures that we see. Take these numbers for instance. Now according to a list that's maintained by the Weather Underground, 26 of the 35 of the most deadliest storms witnessed in the world have all been reported in the Bay of Bengal. Most of them have hit India. Other neighboring countries have also been affected and hit by these cyclones and these tropical storms that are formed in the Bay of Bengal. So why does this happen? Why is it that the Bay of Bengal has a lot more storms? There are a couple of factors for it. One is, of course, the winds also in the Bay of Bengal are very, very strong. Secondly, it's the fact that you've got warm waters in the ocean and the fact that the surface temperature of the water in the Bay of Bengal is high, which means condensation happens clouds are formed easily and then with the higher temperature during the summers and whatnot these formations continue to grow and then move very fast because of the wind speeds as well. So why has Ampan been categorized as a super cyclone and also why did it create so much widespread damage? Well any super cyclone usually exceeds wind speeds of 155 kilometers per hour but just digest this number. Super Cyclone Ampan had a wind speed, a maximum wind speed of 185 kilometers per hour. And that's why you saw so many houses being damaged, so many trees being uprooted, not just in coastal areas, in Kolkata as well. The devastation was widespread, the destruction is widespread. And we've not seen anything like it in the longest time. Some of the deadliest storms have occurred in the Bay of Bengal and affected India directly. And let's also revisit some of the deadliest storms that we've seen. In 1970, Cyclone Bola, it killed over half a million people, that storm alone. And over the next few days in the run-up of that storm in 1970, it took massive relief and rescue operations to bring things back to normal. And this too was in the Bay of Bengal. Let's then take you to 1991. This storm, Cyclone Ampan, is being uh, compared a lot to 1991 when again there was a super cyclone that hit India. And it was Odisha that faced the brunt of this super cyclone as well. 
10,000 people were killed in the storm in 1999. Once again, it was a super cyclone, much like Ampan. In 2007, there was Cyclone Sidhar, which made its way to Bangladesh, again formed in Bay of Bengal, killed over 4,000 people. The next year, in 2008, there was Cyclone Nargis, which killed over 1,40,000 people in Myanmar. So essentially, if you look at the kind of pattern there is, uh, a super cyclone is created very, very rarely. Almost once in 10 years is what experts have said. Super cyclone Ampan, this is the second time a super cyclone is hitting us since 1999. This is one of the strongest recorded cyclones by our experts. It was deemed to be category five of the cyclones, which is extremely powerful, extremely dangerous almost 18 hours after it was formed in the Bay of Bengal. So authorities knew it would create a lot of damage, it would create a lot of destruction of property. Cyclone Ampan is something we've never seen before, a super cyclone. And let's hope that we don't see any more storms this year, we don't face any more problems in the face of a coronavirus pandemic as it is.